second, a lot of people have asked me what's going on this year with the Great Guitar Build-Off, or at least what's going on as regards to me entering it. Well, I've definitely decided this year I am going to enter it if they'll have me. I don't see why they won't have me. One of the things I really liked last year about the competition was the interaction with people through um, YouTube and particularly Instagram, the conversations we had, the friends I made, and that's something I really want to build on this year. So I've decided I'm going to work on a guitar that I've been wanting to build for ages. It's a quite a mad idea, mad, even mad for me. And what I want to try to do is build this guitar or the core of this guitar in one day. So once the Great Guitar Build-Off have announced what they're actually going to be doing, because at the moment, don't know what they're going to be doing for the competition, I'm assuming it's going to be similar to last year. I'll be entering at the kit build competition. I'll be using essentially leftover things I've got in my workshop, plus a new guitar and bridge of a type I've never used before. And I'm pretty certain none of you will have used this type of guitar or bridge, or at least not on guitar anyway, um, pick up or bridge. It, if you can guess what it might be, let me know in the comments or let me know in the chat now. But yeah, so I'm thinking I'm going to build the core of this guitar in a day. And once I know what's happening in the Great Guitar Build-Off, I'm going to pick a day and I'm going to set a various times to go live like I am now. So people can see what's happening, ask me questions, and we can just interact when the build goes. And then my aim is, again, I don't know what the Great Guitar Build-Off are going to ask from us, but my aim is to have just a series of videos where one of them is a summary of what I've done in the live day. And then one of them is the extra thing that I'm going to do, which isn't part of the core guitar, but is a key part to making this guitar unlike anything you've ever seen. I'm very excited about this. I'm going to do that in a bit of secrecy, and I'm going to launch that in another video. Uh, and then I'll probably do a third video, which is just a summary of those two videos, plus a demo of it being played, assuming that the Great Guitar Build-Off want really one summary video at the end like they did last time. And unlike last time, I think I'm going to try and do it early on in the competition. So that live day, hopefully, will be not long after the competition really kicks off. So I'm imagining that will probably be sometime in March. Anyway, like I said, stay tuned to see what's happening. Um, what would be great if you're watching this, why don't you let me know in the comments if you're thinking of entering this year or if you know what it is. Like I said, for me, the highlight of last year was the communication between other builders. I loved it. Absolutely loved it. So I'm looking forward to meeting new people, making more friends and having those conversations. Um, just while I'm here, you can see this is my Proton Caster. Um, not in tune. I'm just setting it up today. Let's uh, switch some lights on, shall we? There's more lights over the guitar, actually. Let's stand up here. Put the lights on, on the fretboard. Quite happy with this one. Um, on this new guitar for the Great Guitar Build-Off, like I said, I'm mainly using things left around my workshop. So it's a, a sort of recycle, reuse build, built in a day. But there is one thing on it that I'm finding quite interesting that I've had in my workshop for absolute ages, which is a neck that scallops. And what I'm quite interested at why I'm quite interested about that is I've never played a scallop. Anyway, let's see what happens. Very odd guitar design, very odd component that you wouldn't expect to find in a guitar. Really interesting bridge and pickup. I think this is going to be something that I'm going to really enjoy doing. And it's the perfect excuse to do it because I've been wanting to do it for ages. So until it happens, happy strumming. <laughs> 